为什么强大的国家都会走向灭亡呢？古希腊、罗马帝国、不列颠帝国、美国，因为他们都犯同样的错误，与原来使得他们成功的原则背道而驰。Despite recent setbacks in the stock market, housing market, and your current economic situation, it is not still too late to dream about retirement. The collapse of the dollar will be the single largest event in human history. It is a mathematical certainty that it will collapse. It will either be an outright default, as the increasing interest on the debt becomes too large to even pay the minimum payment, or the more likely scenario that we will pay our debts with worthless money into hyperinflation. Every aspect of a person's life will be dramatically affected as people learn what counterparty risk is to a paper asset. Wealth will be transferred from paper assets to tangible assets. People must understand that hyperinflation is not necessarily a financial event; it is a psychological event, one which people change their perception of wealth from paper to tangible. Understanding that the collapse is going to happen and that it will be the single largest event in human history leaves you with one choice: denial or prepare. There is great news about this collapse. Those that saw this coming will know what to do when it gets here. I spent seven years researching and preparing for this project in order to understand every aspect of this inevitability. I wanted to know how our world worked, who created it, how they came to power, and what was coming. I am compiling all this work into this video series to help people go through the five stages of awakening so that they can become aware and prepared. This awareness is absolutely vital before you do anything. If you do not understand why you're doing what you're doing, you will either not do it or be swayed off course during the coming turmoil. I highly recommend that you take the time to go through this video series properly. Once you are aware, it is time to prepare. The paradigm shift from paper assets to tangible assets is pretty simple when you think about it. All paper wealth is not real; it is a promise to pay. This promise to pay works in a peaceful, growing environment. Eventually, we get to the point where everything starts to fall apart, and people cannot keep their promises. Now, we're getting to the point where people won't keep their promises. For the most part, this can be papered over for a while by bailouts and printing money, but eventually, that leads to the collapse of the currency as a store of value, and that takes down all other paper assets. Paper assets exist in our mind and not in the real world. They work so long as the paradigm that they were created in still exists. Our paradigm is built off the ability to print the world's reserve currency, to create unlimited debts, to run a global military empire, to secure the world's resources and shipping lanes for our corporations to harvest. With the collapse of the dollar, all of that ends. The United States government is attempting to raise the income tax and debt to avoid the economic decline. The so-called "huge tax increase" is attempting to raise the income tax and debt to avoid the economic decline. The United States government is attempting to raise the income tax and debt to avoid the Tangible assets are real things that you can touch and have intrinsic value. Water, food, guns, tools, etc., are all things that you use in your daily life. You are going to need a buffer of supplies to deal with the violent transition society is going to go through after the collapse of the dollar. This buffer will be the things that you need and the means to protect them. Once you feel comfortable and you want to invest for the future, silver becomes the only obvious choice. Most people dream about retirement. Sadly, the average baby boomer only has about eighty-eight thousand dollars in retirement savings. Baby boomers are going to have the hardest time transitioning into this new paradigm after sacrificing the best years of their lives, chasing after a paper paradigm that is going to fail them the moment that they reach for it. Most boomers will not be able to deal with the coming collapse, as they had already been hurt once in the stock market bubble, the housing bubble, the final debt bubble may be too much for most to live through. Eighty-eight thousand dollars may not be enough to retire on, but I do think that there is an opportunity, given this coming collapse and this paradigm shift, that baby boomers have one last shot at securing their future. For thirty-four thousand dollars, the average baby boomer could get one thousand ounces of silver. I have already shown in previous videos that throughout all of history and two-thirds of the world today, one tenth of an ounce of silver represents twelve hours of hard human labor. Using this blood, sweat, and tears ratio of silver, it is very easy to see that 1,000 ounces would be the equivalent of 10,000 days of hard human labor. Think about how relatively easy an American could accumulate that much silver. The rest of the world that we are being driven to compete against in a global race to slave labor cannot even begin to think about buying that much silver ever. And yet, for about half of what the average baby boomer has in their retirement account. They can accumulate what most of humanity could only dream of.
，当然我们是他们的大寨主。<笑>现在他们都得给我们干活。<笑>